Dress it up and make it real for me. Eskimo, the coolest DJ in the world. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? This is your boy Retro Queen, and I'm coming at you with another sneaker video. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my subscribers who've been, you know, staying there with me, man, watching my vids, liking, sharing my content, you know, all of the above. I pretty much settled real good, as you all can see. You know, I got my shoe room set up real good. I will have a room tour for you all very, very soon. Y'all comment down below, you know, let me know, are you ready to see the room tour? That's all I need to know. Are you ready to see it? But we're gonna jump into it real quick. This is a review that I sort of been got out. As y'all can see, we have the Royal Ones in the back. I did get a chance to double up, but y'all take a look at that real quick. And I also will be comparing these with my, or not really comparing them, but just pretty much, I guess, doing a side to side view with the Bread Ones that released on last year. And my question to you all is Bread Ones or Royal Ones? I'll grab those real quick so that y'all can take a look at them. Like I said, bread ones are royal ones. In my opinion, I'm going bread ones hands down. I'm a black and red guy. I love OG colorways. And the bread ones pretty much just do it for me, you know, overall. Like I said, black and red is easier to match with a lot of things. And to me, it just looks a lot smoother a lot better on feet as opposed to the royal ones but i don't have any complaints with the royal ones either the royal ones are really really great quality i do like the soft plush leather on the back of the shoe i also like the leather that they put on the toe box as well and i love what they've done with the blue hints all around the shoe as well as you know giving us that second set of laces like they always do and one thing too that i do want to note um, I, like I said, I did get a chance to double up. As you all can see, the lacing packaging is different on both of them, and which it doesn't mean that you know one is real, one is fake. Um, one thing that Nike, you know, Nike and Jordan brand done this year was pretty much, I guess, just went with different lacing packaging. In which, me personally, I like this a little better. It's a little bit cleaner, but this that's really nothing to harp on too much because I mean, once you rock the shoe, you're pretty much gonna pop this off anyway. But like I said, I did just want to go ahead and get my first thoughts on the Royal One. Like I said, I do love the shoe. I love the colorway. I love everything about the shoe. But if I had to choose, I would choose Bread Ones over the Royal Ones. And also, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. I will be getting the own feet out of these pretty soon. Um, maybe tomorrow or you know, sometime over the weekend. Just depends on how my schedule goes. And I will also be bringing you all, I'll be bringing you all another video as well. Uh, some of my releases that I have picked up in 2017 so far. I didn't get a chance to do any reviews on a lot of them, nor did I get a chance to do on feet because, you know, like I said, I was in the process of moving and, you know, dealing with a few different things in school. So I didn't get a chance to do that. But now that I am settled in real good in my new spot, I will be getting that out to you all so you all can take a look at it. And also I did get a chance, um, I'm working on it now, to get a new subscribe button added to my videos. So pretty much um, I wanted to add the subscribe button so that would be one less step that you all have to worry about. Instead of having to go away from my page, I will have the subscribe button you know, down below in one of the corners. So the only thing you have to do is just tap that button and you have a subscription. And also y'all make sure y'all hit the notification bell as well. I do want you all to be able to get you know notifications every time I upload a video. But other than that, you know, y'all just make sure y'all continue to like my content, keep sharing my content. Like I said, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach 200 subscribers so far. I've been working real hard with it, and you know, it's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Y'all make sure that y'all stay tuned for the on feet um, on my next video. But this is your boy Retro Quinn. I'm out.